Good day to you and welcome to another Paddocks Club video tutorial. Today I want to talk to you about fairness in sectional title expense allocation and recovery from owners. In my practice I often come across situations where owners and trustees consider that body corporate expenses should be recovered from owners either in equal shares or that they should each pay according to how much they use a particular service. Most of the most common example of the equal shares principle um, occurs when there's a new expense like additional security where owners don't feel that the size of their sections actually plays any part in the benefit that they receive. But I also come across situations regularly where other types of expenses are shared equally on a per dwelling, a per car, a per family or a per person basis. Why? Because this seems fair in the circumstances. That's almost always the underlying motivation. The usual suspects for paying according to use are costs associated with infrastructure that not all owners or residents use or where a particular um, utility is supplied directly to a particular section. So let's just look at the principles that apply to, to this and actually you will see immediately that they have nothing to do with fairness. They have to do with very specific rules in the Sectional Titles Act. Section 30. 2.3 says that all body corporate expenses must be recovered according to the participation quota. Well, actually, it doesn't say that. What it says is that one of the effects of the participation quota is that it determines the contributions made by owners to common expenses and specifically to the administrative fund established by the body corporate under Section 37.1. So unless there's a special rule made under Section 32.4 that modifies this expense determining aspect of the participation quota schedule, they must be paid according. Any body corporate expense must be recovered from owners according to the participation quotas. Now the Act makes certain exceptions such as the proviso to section 37.1b which I'm sure you know well and which requires that the body corporate recover costs attributable to exclusive use areas from the holders of the relevant exclusive use rights. The rules also can make exceptions. The prescribed management rules for example in 33, 3 and 4 make exceptions for separately metered water, gas and electricity supplies to sections. The developer can make such rules or the body corporate can make them thereafter and those rules allow the body corporate to deviate from the PQ basis of expense recovery. Thus, if you come across a situation where the body corporate expense is not being charged per PQ, which is the default, it's what applies unless there's some other provision, you have to ask, is this an exception under the Act? And if so, which section applies? Is this an exception under the rules? If so, which rule applies? Simple rule is all body corporate expenses are recovered from owners according to the participation quota unless the Act or the rules specifically provide otherwise. I hope that this has been of assistance. If you have any questions, let's deal with them in the discussion forum.